Hi everyone, welcome back. I have two boxes here today, both from Book by the Designs. This is the heavy one, I'll leave, leave it for last. Um, yep, yeah, I put in two orders, they both arrived today. So let's, oh no, I think it's the other one. <laughs> okay, let's take a look inside. All right, so some washi tape and some inserts are the main things in here as well as all these little peanuts so you've probably seen recently I unboxed this gorgeous Bum Kuhn customized black traveler's notebook it's just divine I absolutely adore it and of course I also have my blue passport size one as well so I went back to my favorite uh, traveler's company partner shop which was bookbinders designs and picked up some bits and pieces I have some decorative things here but I also have some inserts as well so I just wanted to walk you through everything that I got uh, I've got the two dot grid notebooks here in the standard size um, they're exactly the same number 26 I'll just open one for you I actually found later on that I have some of these in storage of course I do I like these because they're such a plain cover just a kind of pale grey usual um, intro page and then we move into the dot grid paper and it's white grid paper with a pale grey uh, dot which is really nice I use this same insert in passport size in here already uh, for all of my planner thoughts <laughs> which there are a lot of so I have two of those and like I said another one I think in the in storage I also picked up two of these sticker release paper books so also um, a little while ago they did the Travelers Company did the b-size and rarities and notebooks and amongst those was um, a sticker release book but it had this kind of print all over the front which I wasn't really a fan of and now they've made them in this beautiful blush pink color it's so nice so this again has that same frame um, intro page but then it has sticker release paper here so all of my washi and PET kind of tapes will be able to stick to this as well as just normal stickers and I can have one of those on the go with me at all times and so I picked up two of those as well. The B-Sides and Rarities have sold out, so they've now added this to the ongoing range. So these sticker release paper books will always be available. When I filmed this, I think um, they were out of stock of bookbinder designs, but they'll come back. There's no problem, they'll come back. And then I picked up two in the passport size as well. This size is so nice, it's so easy to hold. Uh, so let's I mean there's not much point even showing you one of these because it's exactly the same as the other one just smaller of course but the same blush pink color same intro page and then these little um, sticker release pages in here oh I should also mention the little kind of departure card arrival card at the back it's a passport kind of thing very cute so lots of inserts there to set up my planner with and then I picked up a couple other things while I was there and then there's the other order so I have this washi tape this one is from Meow Illustrations and it's called Pinot Noir and you can see the beautiful Pinot Noir kind of colors in there so I'll just open this up and show you it really is quite lovely these little frames and then unframed flowers as well in these beautiful pink to purple to blue kind of colors with also of course the greenery in there as well they're just lovely very simple and plain and lots of little ones that you can cut out separately and then you can also just put them together as well I love that there's got these little kind of palette of color next to the frames as well it's just really lovely so that's the tape and then lastly in this box I grabbed these um, Mew series print-on stickers these are transfer stickers so we have two sheets here I'll just pop them on the table so you can see what they look like 
just a bit different. I normally get the peon ones, so I thought I would try these instead. And you can see there on the left we have uh, the warm kind of colours with vases and florals and these nice little kind of um, collaged, washy collaged kind of things as well. And on this side we have the more blues and greens, and but the same exact design, the same kind of design as well, which is really nice. So I just thought I would try those out. Those are transfer stickers. I grabbed this from this little tool from Bookbinder Designs a while back and uh, yeah, you just use this to rub those um, stickers off onto the paper that you want to add them to. So that's little hole number one up there, my uh, refills slash inserts and some papers, uh, some stickers and tapes as well. But let's see what's in this box. I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, there's another Caveco tin in here. I, I, I'm so obsessed with Caveco, but also, as it turns out, slightly obsessed with Traveler's Notebook as well. And there's a little converter in here too. All right, let's get rid of this box. Okay, so you can see we've got a couple of things here. Uh, I think I'll start with the Traveler's Notebook. Uh, you can obviously see from the package here and probably the thumbnail that I caved in and got the olive. I really, really wanted the olive when I was buying this one, but I really wanted the standard size and the olive wasn't available yet and I just wasn't sure, but I knew that black would be classic and fabulous forever, so I got the black. And I, I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it, as you probably can tell. Uh, from my other videos. So we have passport size olive, as usual, the same things that we get all the time, the cotton bag, the leather cover, the notebook refill blank, and a spare rubber band. And this nice piece of ephemera here. Cute little box, and you can see the rubber band is actually an olive green kind of color. And then inside some more paper, another spare band, and this one is like a blue gray take this one out as well and let's have a look at this beauty I'm always intrigued because the color looks quite brown in some videos my friend warned me she'd seen one in person and it was brown so let's see how mine looks oh yeah that's nice <laughs> okay so it is a very nice olive green it definitely has a very uh, dark brown background to it like a khaki kind of color but yeah obviously green absolutely green let's take this open and look at the whole thing and you can see we've got a bit of like the uh, patinaing on the spine where it's been folded we've got this beautiful olive band here our fastener looks good everything looks nice a couple of teeny tiny scratches to get it started I feel so good so um, I'll compare to the others in a moment uh, the other leathers but let's have a look through the inside so it definitely has that brown color on the inside comes with the plain notebook as usual this is just plain paper very smooth paper and our little uh, band at the back there oh I love it it's so nice uh, I d obviously 100% didn't need this but I've been coming up with excuses for why I should have it so <laughs> but we'll talk about those another day when I'm setting it up but let's compare with the blue so the blue is a shiny leather not shiny but um, smooth feeling leather it's a very smooth leather compared with this one so this one is more like what I understand the camel to be like I don't have the camel but it has that kind of uh, soft texture to it a little bit like suede but not not suede doesn't doesn't feel like suede but it's tending that way if you know what I mean if you felt the camel one then I think you'll know exactly what I mean it does feel like that so where you might say glossy versus matte in terms of the textures and if we grab my black one this one is also the same as the blue it's that smooth leather and that's generally what I hear about the different TN leathers as well is that the black and the blue run towards the more um, smooth leather and the 
olive and the camel run towards the suede and I'm not sure about the brown I feel like the brown might be smooth as well but I'm not sure obviously my black has this customized piece on the front but it's the same I believe it's the same leather as the um, cover itself so I had to get something to go along with this and so that's what we have here in this tin so this is a bit bigger than the usual Coveco tins I have my little Coveco Sport here, the Ruby Red, which I also got from Bookbinder Designs. And we'll bring that back in in a minute. But first, let's see what I have in here. I'm so excited about this one. Okay, I'll just remove these little pieces. And you can see, hopefully, here that I have the Coveco Student Jazz. I believe that's what it's called. I'll just see if we have a label. So it's called the Caveco Fountain Pen Student in 60s Swing and as you can see it's got this kind of cream coloured body. It might be coming off a bit white but it's definitely a cream coloured body. We've got the olive lid with the gold clip and this gold detail here around the, the um, cap as well. And then if we go, it's, it's a screw cap, you see we have this beautiful gold nib here on the end and I have the fine not the extra fine but the fine tip nib on this particular pen I do love the fine pens so it comes with the a blue cartridge inside as does most Caveco pens oh there it is popped in there and they give you an empty one that's awesome so I could fill this with my favorite ink just using a syringe and then I'll have a cartridge one for on the go. But I did also pick up this um, gold converter, gold and black converter. Uh, I thought this would be helpful. Um, I do like a converter style system. So I'll be filling this with one of my favorite inks very soon. Oh, that seals very nicely. It seals even better than the um, sports do. This will screw on there like so. And then we cap our pen. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. So I might take this out because I do want to fill it with some ink soon. Uh, but um, I wanted to also just compare it to the size of the sport for you as well. So you can see the difference between the two. So here's the uh, 60s Swing Student. And here's our Ruby Red sport out so this is an aluminium sport not a plastic um, so it is um, like a heavier pen and I purchased the gold clip separately so you can see they're quite different in lengths there but let's post the caps on both of them as well so we can get an idea of how that looks that's quite nice the, the weight sits at the back of the pen there okay so with both pens with the caps posted you can see that um, it is still quite a bit longer than this sport so this becomes quite a substantial um, pen when um, the cap is posted on on top of there okay let's pop it inside of our new planner and see how that looks I don't have a pen loop for this planner I, I have a bunch of inserts um, for this one because I, I have my passport and I bought a ton of them at the same time so even though I don't have a pen loop, I do tend to just let the pen sit beside the books. When there's more books in there, that will be uh, a bit easier for it to do. But it's just going to sit on the side there like that. So you can. I've just added the pen here to the Passport TN, and you can see it's almost exactly the same size as the Passport. Fits perfectly. We've got the beautiful little detail here at the top of the cap as well. And yeah, you can see it just goes so nicely. It's very organic kind of colors going together here. Uh, it does look quite brown now, um, probably because that green is next to it. But uh, I'll be keen to see how the color changes over time. And I, I don't know, I'm, how am I going to tell, how am I going to decide which one that I want to use for what? Um, at the moment, like I said, this one houses, oh, it's nice and chunky. I'll just put this one to the side for the moment. This one houses my um, 
Okay, let me just quickly show you. I've got a, a free diary at the front, but I really found myself not using it, so I won't be doing that again. I've got the little um, case here, the folder here, that has some ephemera in it. And in the middle, this is that dot grid insert, and this has become my how to decide what planners to buy book and what to use them for. I just write in here all the time. I would say every few days I'm writing in here. I'm typically watching a YouTube video or I'm playing with my planners and realize that something's not working or something's working so, so well. Um, in here I just have a washi card with some fave washies. And then the back I have the sketchbook insert which has nothing in it except in the back I have the Bookbinders Design uh, Travel Travelers Company Official Partner Shop stamp. And I didn't write the date in, which is silly. Uh, but I know the date. I'll, I'll be able to find the date. It was the date of the Melbourne Pen Show. So um, I got the stamp there while they were at the Pen Show. But I have been to the store a couple of times as well. So nothing else in this book. And I'm thinking maybe I just use it for stamps and things like that. But I don't know. But I probably will never get that many stamps, right? So um, I'll I'll figure out what to use that for, that, that insert. But at the moment, I'm, I mean, don't tell anyone, but I'm seriously reconsidering my entire lineup. Probably not going to change too much this year. I do want to incorporate this beautiful thing as my wallet. And I have been talking about um, a tarot journal for a very long time. And I also just have my just thing I like to take notes in and that's kind of becoming like a commonplace idea so potentially this could be my tarot journal this could become my commonplace plus platter thoughts I can move that insert into here um, or it could be something completely different what I will do now that I've opened it and touched it and played with it and smelled it <laughs> I will um, probably write myself write to myself tonight in this book and come up with some more plans and ideas for how to use these three systems together. Keeping in mind that I also have my Hobonichi Weeks and my cousins and all the other things that I'm using as well. So uh, lots and lots of decisions to make, but lots and lots of choices as well, which is always nice, isn't it? Let's line these up for a very cute family photo. Okay, so there's our three fabulous TNs. We've added the, the olive to the lineup here with its beautiful pen as well from Caveco. And then we've got my little blue passport and my gorgeous customized TN from Bomkuhan as well. Just gorgeous. I love them all so much. I love the leathers. They're really, really pretty. I think this is coming off olive now a bit more on screen, but uh, it doesn't matter. It looks olive in real life and it's so pretty. It's so nice to have all three of these and so, like I said, so many choices now for what to use. I will, of course, be paralysed by indecision for a while, but that's okay. Uh, I've got plenty of things to keep me occupied and playing with planners is one of those. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've picked up the olive. Um, do you think it's weird that I've never bought a brown one because that's kind of the most popular uh, I've always been not quite a brown planner person. Uh, I do have one, which is the raw leather Hobonichi um, five-year cover. But um, these colors just kind of spoke to me when I saw them. I really just had to have them. I am partial to the camel, though. If I was to add a brown, I would add the camel. But yeah, let me know what you think about the colors and what, if you have a traveler's notebook or many, like many of us have many, <laughs> uh, what colors do you have? I'm super keen to chat about colors and planners and TNs and journals in the comments. So yes, let me know what color you have and what you use them for. I'd be super keen to hear. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so, so much for watching and I uh, will see you all again super, super soon. Bye.